Now, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is in Washington to address the U.S. Congress. Mr. Netanyahu was invited by Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson to give his first address to Congress in nine years. Israeli Prime Minister is also likely to meet U.S. President Joe Biden, who is battling COVID-19. This would be his fourth address to the U.S. Congress, the most ever by any other leader. Now, before stepping on the plane on Monday, Netanyahu said he would emphasize the theme of Israel's bipartisanship in his speech and said Israel would remain a key U.S. ally in the Middle East regardless who the American people choose as their next president. Here is our report. Take a look. Amid the historical political turmoil in the United States, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has landed in Washington and is scheduled to address a joint session of Congress to make a speech emphasizing Israel's bipartisanship at a time of great uncertainty following Biden's withdrawal from the presidential race. Before boarding his plane to Washington, Netanyahu also stressed that Israel would remain a key ally to the United States regardless of who the American people choose as their next leader in the upcoming elections. I will address uh, for the fourth time both houses of Congress as the Prime Minister of Israel. I will seek to anchor the bipartisan support that is so important for Israel. And I will tell my friends on both sides of the aisle that regardless who the American people choose as their next president, Israel remains America's uh, indispensable and strong ally in the Middle East. Considering the dissatisfaction from both Israeli and American nationals on how the Israel-Gaza war has been handled, Netanyahu's visit to the White House is especially crucial to the prospects of a ceasefire in Gaza. In a meeting on Monday, the Israeli Prime Minister signaled that a ceasefire deal that would free dozens of Israeli hostages from Gaza could be taking shape. <laughs> In light of his visit, demonstrators quickly took to the White House protesting Netanyahu's trip to the United States and taunted staff as they made their way to the entrance, criticizing Israel's actions during its war in Gaza. Netanyahu is scheduled to address the U.S. Congress on Wednesday. This will be the Israeli Prime Minister's fourth address to the Congress and the most ever by any other leader. His address will be made keeping in mind that Israel's ally, the United States, which provides both diplomatic and military support to Israel, is crucial to his political survival. Samia Afsir for NDTV World.